for Python 4 chamber and 5 chamber views to calculate TRZ in PPHA. The probe is to be kept at Python window. Pointer pointing towards 2 to 3 o'clock position that is towards the left shoulder just below the nipple at 4th and 5th intercostal space. So there you will see there is a Pykel 4 chamber and 5 chamber view. Here you are seeing LA, LB, RA, RV, tricuspid ball, mitral ball. And if I put a color Doppler, you will start seeing regurgitant flow through the tricuspid ball. That is a blood flowing from RV to RA. Seeing this red jet, the red uh, red jet is the blood flow from RA to RV, and this blue jet is the TR jet, tricuspid regurgitation that is from RV to RA through tricuspid ball. So, if we have to measure the TR jet, the cursor, the yellow dot you are seeing, has to be in the blue jet, that is the regurgitant jet towards the RA side, atrial side, just above the tricuspid valve. And do it with the continuous wave Doppler. And this is the blue, because it is blue, it will blow the line. This Dopplers of the TRZ with the continuous wave Doppler will be recorded like this. So what you have to do, you have to calculate the what is where is the peak velocity, and by Bernoulli's principle, machine will automatically give you the TRZ gradient. And as you can see, the gradient is almost 18, and the. Uh, the resident pressure, the actual pressure in RA is around 6 to 10 millimeters of mercury. So this is the gradient what we have calculated between RV and RA and you have to add 6. So 18 plus 6 will be 24. So 24 will be the final estimated pressures of the right ventricle.